I don't know about that, but if she depends on him that much, that's a sticky situation. Cause like, what the hell do you do? Um, yeah, I actually, for once, I have nothing to say. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, I never can decide on which light I actually want to use, so. I think, you know, I'm getting vibes, I'm getting vibes, I'm getting vibes. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, thank you for joining us. If you're a returning subscriber, cue it. Subscribe. Thank you. Guys, it's not fair for like you to watch my videos. Okay, no, it, it's not like it's not fair, but like it's not fair for you to watch my videos while you're not subscribed. Like, guys, the button is right there. Like, the button is right there. Just do it for the girl. Just subscribe. Maybe even turn on um, post notifications. Just do it for me, please. Come on. Come on. Okay. So today it's Ask Joe episode two. What do I do? Um, you, you guys actually come through with these things, hey? And I love it. I love it. You guys are gonna see this on Sunday. So yeah. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not even sorry that I'm not wearing makeup because I'm a bad bitch. Period. But I just, sometimes I want my skin to breathe, but I also still have to film to like make deadlines that I set for myself. So anyway, we're gonna start. The first person said, you this one's long, okay. I have a question and it's a bit long. I started dating this guy, I started dating this guy and he was loyal and sweet. Uh, first boyfriend, okay. It started with the gifts and the late calls but after two months, it all disappeared. He didn't want to make the relationship open. I wasn't even allowed to, <laughs> okay. Um, I wasn't even allowed to tell my friends or anything. It was my birthday month and he forgot my birthday and I just left. Baby girl, he forgot your birthday. Let's start there. Um, he then gave me a present. It was soap. He said I should bath more. <laughs> what? Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn. We stopped calling. No more meetings and everything was just so awkward. But I didn't say anything. One year down the line. And I heard he was cheating with one of my friends. But I never questioned him because I trusted him. Yo. That same year, I lost my mom, but he never comforted me. Rather, his best friend did that. I started liking his best friend, and this whole bro code, yada yada, said I couldn't do anything. He cheated again with three girls, and all of them, and all of them were my friends. And it continued like that. I loved being in the toxic, loveless relationship until this year, in January, we broke up. Four years, yo, four years, yo, yo, yo. But now I'm close friends with this guy again and we started to like each other again. He's now a changed man. <laughs> There's no such thing. And now a changed man, but I'm remembering all those lonely days whilst he was there. Um, shed some light, should I be with this, with him knowing what he did in the past? Girl, no. Like, I don't even have to say much. No, why? You, <laughs> like you said, you know how he was in the past. There's no such thing. Okay, yeah, people change, guys. People change. I'm not saying people don't change, but why do you want to? Why do you want to get the opportunity to find out if, like, maybe he hasn't changed and you go through the same stuff over and over and over and over again? For what? For what? No, no, don't do it. But that's just me. I'm saying don't do it. You obviously don't have to listen to me, but my advice is don't, don't do it. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Guys, some of the things, yeah, oh, no, no ways, sorry, no, it doesn't sound like it would be worth it, like, I don't know, maybe he has changed, but then it, ish, what if he hasn't, just think about that, what if he hasn't, um, so I've been talking to this guy for a while, this is someone else now, so I've been talking to this guy for a while, and it was now serious, and recently, sorry, sorry, recently he posted, 
another girl on the stage and blocked me and my friends from seeing it. I didn't say anything. I just stopped talking to him, but I'm itching inside because he thinks I don't know. Girl, <laughs> just mind the whole situation, just leave it. Because he actually thinks you're an idiot. Like he actually, he fully thinks you're dumb. That's literally it. <laughs> I mean guys girls find out everything no like he actually thinks you're an idiot just just actually leave it honestly don't waste your time hey joella i've noticed you talk about mental health a lot and i watched your video ask joe so i wanted to ask basically i think my mom has a few disorders but predominantly maybe she's bipolar and i and it's like because of it i'm scared to tell her in case she snaps at me and stuff especially because just like other african parents bad mental health is a demon so what do i do um this is a tough one i feel like obviously i'm not sure if your dad's like around or not but I think approach your other parent um not so that you guys can like gang up on her but so they can help you with what to do because obviously I don't know your mom but your other parent would know them more or like not even like your other parent or like your mom's sister or like someone someone in your family that you like closer to that would know your mom more um because i do understand where you're coming from like your mom is just gonna be i mean obviously if i was a parent i don't want my child to come to me and tell me i have issues or whatever but if you genuinely do think so i think you should you should definitely go to another family member to help you like know what to do um is it okay to shoot your shot with a guy who doesn't even know you period baby it is do it just do it what do you have to lose especially because he doesn't know you like imagine with someone you know someone you'll probably see around he doesn't even know you what do you have to lose nothing so do it um is it okay to still like your ex and want them back after you left for after you left after you left for no reason after you left you or like why did you leave you know i mean like it's okay but like it's weird like why did you leave you know because now you want them back maybe they don't want you anymore yeah especially if you left for no reason like you actually had no reason to leave so don't know if they'll take you back to be fair so i feel like the energy i give out and hype people up especially girls on instagram isn't what i get back why well, obviously i don't know why but like um if you feel like your energy isn't reciprocated stop giving out compliment compliments and stuff you know i mean i if you do it to get something back then that's a different story but if you if you just do it because you want to hype up other girls then it shouldn't bother you when like your energy isn't reciprocated but if that if your energy not being reciprocated does bother you then just i think just stop you know and do it to people who actually reciprocate your energy do you get what i'm saying if your friend's boyfriend is moving in three weeks what's your take on long distance would you recommend it pros cons what should they do to make it work any advice for them i don't have a thing against long distance relationships personally i mean it does get hard but i don't have anything against it my thing is like do they have issues with distance the two of them they need to think Am I going to be able to go months without seeing this person and like talking over the phone, blah, 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 you know, they need to think about that. And if one of them is likely to like cheat, then they shouldn't do it. But long distance isn't like a bad thing. It just depends on like your love language, I guess. Um, you know, those kinds of things. Like, are they going to be able to keep the same energy when they like miles apart i think that's what they should think about honestly otherwise it's not like i don't recommend uh long distance relationships i just think they should think about it because there's nothing wrong with long distance relationships um my boyfriend's ex is constantly hitting me up saying leave my man alone but i swear they broke up that's tough that's tough um did they break up though okay listen maybe they haven't broken up maybe they're together secretly you need to think about everything because i don't know like why would she just be doing that i don't like going for the the ex-girlfriend is crazy thing because just i don't know i think actually talk to her and ask her if they're still together because i don't think it comes from nowhere and i don't think she's just crazy you know 
um maybe he's with both of you but then that's just me that's just me i think you should talk to him um what do you do if a boy thinks you guys are vibing when you're not then you kiss someone else and they start catching feelings tell him to get out of his feelings period um that's weird like yeah just tell him to get out of his feelings i guess because what else can you do what are you supposed to do console him and tell him you're sorry but you guys went together tell him to get out of his feelings um okay so if you were to go get back with your ex do you think you would say yes or no my ex me i don't know guys i feel like i should specify like when I say ask Joe, it's not asking about me. It's, I actually don't have exes. Can I trust someone who I've cheated on and they forgave me? You cheated. And you are wondering if you can trust them. Can they trust you? But uh, to answer your question, some people are just nice like that. And maybe they love you for real, for real. I don't know. Maybe... I, I, you're thinking maybe they're going to cheat as like revenge but then if they do then it's your karma you know so I think you can trust them because some people are genuine like that I have a friend she was very good friends with this guy and he liked her but she had a boyfriend he would always be with her and whatnot since her boyfriend was at another school then they broke up the guy confessed his love but he was now with another girl and he claimed that he was only with her because he gave up on my friend and thought she wouldn't leave the other guy. He told her that he'll leave this girl if my friend wants to be with him. Every time we see him with this with his girl, he tries to hide her, and my friend can't see his post with the girl. His girlfriend thinks he's the one, but he wants my friend. I low he talked to his girlfriend and feel for her. I don't know what I should tell her. By the way, my friend knows he hides stuff from her, and she doesn't want to tell the girlfriend because she's cocky. Why would you snitch on your friend, bro? Why? There is no reason <coughs> to snitch on your friend. It's the girlfriend's problem. No, not, not like, because you're gonna go to her and say he wants my friend, and then what? She's going to say, oh no, you're lying, and then it's a whole other thing where you could have just kept quiet. This whole coming to you as a woman thing, yo, keep it for your friends, because when you go to, okay, you talk to the girlfriend, but I don't think she's your friend, it's just someone you talk to. Now she's going to think you have something against her. But like it's up to you at the end of the day, but I would just say it's not even snitching on your friend Actually, it's just keeping quiet because I don't know ask talk to your friend as well Like hear what your friend has to say How do I prepare myself mentally for uni girl? Uh, I'm trying to do that too. So I actually don't have an answer for that because I haven't gone. I only start in Feb if corona allows <laughs> but yeah, I only start in February so I've been like home this entire year doing different things, specifically YouTube and stuff. But um, I don't know. Once I figure it out, we'll talk about that. Would you suggest coming out as gay to black parents even if you're not close to them? I think if you think their reaction is going to be negative, do it when you're leaving their house. Now, when you're still staying with them and you think their reaction is going to be negative, I don't want to say don't tell them because like you probably want to, you probably feel like you want to come out, but, or maybe their reaction won't even be negative. But if you do think it's going to be negative, I would suggest you do it when you're leaving their house. Um, yo, this is a tough one. Um, my sister's ex is hitting on me and he's it for me. Should I go ahead to the talking stage? Girl, this is your sister's ex sister not even your friend this is your sister don't do it just don't do it um so there are some people that i used to be cool with but now i keep hearing my name in their groups and chats and they give me so much bad like with strangers all of a sudden help uh bad as in they ignore you when you message them or like in person they act weird um leave them leave them like there's no reason for you to stress yourself. Like, we're in a pandemic, please. There's literally no reason for you to be stressing yourself over people that are acting weird. So just leave them. When they come to their senses or whatever, they might come back to you. But if they don't, they were never, like, with it. So that's what I think. How does a guy like me get with a girl like you? You don't. Hey, Jella. Okay, so I have a friend and she's been dating this guy for... Up almost eight months, but she still has feelings for her ex, and she doesn't know what to do. 
keep in mind that they broke up because of her um there was a misunderstanding between them and i really don't know what to do because she also feels like she she doesn't really like the guy she's dating um she says she likes him sometimes but she says she really likes the ex more than the more than this guy and i know for a fact that the guy she's dating will never find um I'm, and I know for a fact that she'll never find someone who treats her like that. Although the ex also treated her right, I really don't know how to help her. Yo, okay, let's start with that one. Um, she should go back to the ex then. She should try get her ex back because she clearly doesn't like this guy. She may say she likes him sometimes, but she clearly doesn't like this guy. If she wants the ex back, she should pursue her ex again. That's what I think. That's definitely what I think. How to help your partner deal with the loss of their mother? You're tough um be there for them like really just be there for them um people just be there for them is what i can say because i've never experienced that but definitely just be there for them as much as you can um just be there for them my boy best friend has a girl who he's been dating for more than a year so he told her he doesn't feel the vibe anymore and the girl said she can't live without him then after that she tried to commit suicide and there was this whole story of how she lost blood and the next day she was fine um of which this was all through text he didn't even see her because also on her status there was this whole thing of her being admitted into hospital but now she's well and i told him i feel like she did this for attention um okay when it comes to suicide or someone attempting to commit suicide i don't think it's wise for anyone to ever say it was for attention because you literally don't know that's your assumption um yeah you literally never know whether it's for attention or not and it's best not to assume that it is um as for her saying she can't live without him i don't know about that but if she depends on him that much that's a sticky situation because like what the hell do you do um yeah i actually for once i have nothing to say and i don't know because that is actually tricky um i think the problem is that she depends on him so much she doesn't want him to leave that that's tough but like don't assume that her attempt of suicide was for attention or anything if it was it's not like your business that's what i do have to say okay there's so many questions that are about me guys and this is not about me how long is the talking stage i have a whole video on that so you can go watch it i'll link it in the description or at the end of the video just look out for that um it was like a group discussion type of thing so uh my friend had a dream she told me and it was basically her having sex with another girl so she asked me whether that means she's bisexual just want to hear what others think about how to help her deal with what she's going through open opening up to parents if need be i don't know if it means she's bisexual or not but it, i mean there's obviously no way for anyone else to know she needs to think about well you need to tell your friend to think about like whether she does actually like girls that's something for her to actually think about on her own no one can tell her if her dream means that she likes girls she needs to think about that that's what i think um because like literally no one can tell her that oh because you dreamt that you're bisexual maybe it was just a dream um but yeah am i wrong for leaving a guy that i really loved yet he wanted me to open my legs and i wasn't ready no that's not wrong um that's totally that's totally fine like he should have respected um what you wanted when you, like he should have respected your decision so it's not wrong that you left like even if you really loved him i think it's a good thing that you did leave but yeah like you shouldn't let anyone kind of um either guilt trip you into doing something you don't want to do um yeah so there's nothing wrong with you leaving at all is it okay to talk to someone your friend talked to and it was dead never dated or did anything as long as you talk to your friend i don't see a problem with it not if you want to be secretive about it um, I don't see a problem with it because for me it wouldn't be like a big thing. It's like okay, whatever But you do need to talk to your friend about it obviously and just Tell them how you feel about the person whatever and then see from there. How can I deal with anxiety? I personally use rescue um, this little bottle that I got in clicks um, Just helps me calm down also counting on your fingers help sometimes but the risk the rescue is definitely my go-to my number one go-to because like 
it literally just calms you down instantly type of thing but i will talk more about what i do in the mental health video that i'm gonna do people who spread lies about you even when you don't speak to them anymore minds them just ignore um literally just ignore them that's the best thing i can tell you to do the thing is like i was actually talking to my friend today like we were saying you don't need to match people's energies you just maintain your energy and what and you attract what matches your energy do you understand what i mean like just because they're being weird doesn't mean you should be weird towards them you keep being the person that you are and you get what you deserve do you know what i mean there's no need to match their weird energy um just literally just leave them thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next one see you on wednesday bye